Yeah, my name is Howard Danzig. My organization is titled Employers Committed to Control Health Insurance Costs, or ETCHIC, and what we are is a very proactive cost management team that's focused on showing small to intermediate sized employers how to use the insurance, medical, and pharmacy system as efficiently to get as uh, uh, best cost as major employers get and as insurance companies get. If you're in small town America, you have a huge advantage in being able to uh, stabilize and reduce your cost if you use the systems appropriately. The reason why I say that is because in small town America, you have a very concise uh, marketplace and many of the employees within your organization live you know, within that community or very close to it. So, for example, in the area of prescription drugs, we have a client that's a school district in a community in Kansas of about five or 6,000 people. The school district has about 60 employees, and right around the corner from the school district is the local independent pharmacy. Now, using the insurance system the way they had, they were sending fifty to fifty five thousand dollars every single month to an insurance company included in that fifty five thousand dollars was the funding for prescriptions which by the way were a fixed expense in that eighty five percent of their prescriptions were maintenance drugs or what they're buying every single month so what they would do is send fifty five thousand dollars to one end of the country so that the insurance company who's contracted with a middleman called a pharmacy benefit management company on the other end of the country would arrange for discounts from the pharmacy houses in behalf of the insurance companies which they did not pass on to the employer. So and when they went into that pharmacist with a, 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 an insurance card, they only made a copay which did not pay for the balance of the cost of the drug. The request of that was then sent to the middleman at one end of the country, called the pharmacy management company, who sent the request for the funds to the other end of the country, where the insurance company was, who released the funds back to the other end of the country, where the pharmacy management company was, who then sent the, uh, uh, the dictated amount to the pharmacist about 45 days or more later. Now that's supposed to save money when these guys are right across the street from each other practically. So what we then said is let's take the proportion amount of premium that you're spending and put that in your control and set up an account at your pharmacist and when you make your co-pays you're done and the pharmacist sends you a bill every couple of weeks and with the money that you were heretofore sending all around the country to an insurance company Keep control of your money, know what your costs are, cut the two middlemen out, and I emphasize cut the two middlemen out, and then you cut the cost of your prescriptions, you keep the business in town, your pharmacist is no longer competing with the mail order system that the insurance companies have set up that make huge profit centers out of this, you're no longer adding 40% to the cost of your prescriptions in a form of premium, you're no longer increasing your cost 5 to 10 percent a year when you buy it with premium and you interface with your local business and keep it in the community and everybody begins to personalize this system that has been depersonalized over the years. You can control your cost, you can, you can know what you're spending, you're working together directly, your pharmacist gets paid more quickly, and you were, you were um, much more community oriented with your medical dollar, your tax dollar, and your overall benefit dollar. You have to change the way you use your insurance companies. That's what we at Etchik will show you. We've set programs like this up very successfully now, and uh, in my opinion, there's absolutely no justification whatsoever why an independent pharmacist in a small community shouldn't be working directly with his business community to help everyone, and not to mention the fact that uh, it's much more beneficial to uh, he or she as well.